I introduce the concept of the God of all religions. Um, I introduce the concept um, of what I call the Christ. Um, the Christ represents the God of all religions, good in my painting. And um, the, um, uh, I say in my work that the Christ um, and Nazi are the two most powerful brands in the history of the world. When I painted this, it's very abstracted. It's called Christ One. When I painted it, and when I stood back, I had an overwhelming sense of the holy. Um, and uh, it brought me to this thought about the Christ. And so even though it is very abstracted, and it has a lot of the colours um, of the church where I used to go as a little boy um, and where the church was my temple um, and it was the biggest building I ever went into as a little boy and also um, the, um, uh, the colours of the stained glass um, are reflected here. So this is where I introduced the most powerful concept in the history of the world, the God concept. In one way or another, all our lives revolve around it. Whether you believe in it or you disbelieve in it, it is something which none of us can avoid taking a view on or feeling about. This painting here is showing the deconstruction of the Christ in the face of modernity. Um, modernity challenges the Christ because um, people feel that modern society is based on science. So it links to what I was saying about dialecticism. People feel very often embarrassed to say that they believe in God. They feel that um, it's not cool, um, that it's just ridiculous, it's a dream, a lot of people think. Um, so there's great cynicism, and that has come from um, the way that society has become secularised and modernised. Um, I don't say that people don't have the right to be atheists, of course they do, um, or the right to doubt. But I do say, and I do recognise, that over the last couple of hundred years, the Christ concept has been um, at times fractured, um, at times broken down, but in my conception, never defeated. And this is what this is showing. Now, when I come over now to um, the next uh, painting uh, in the Christ series, you see um, this taken a step further and it links with some of the other paintings on show at the exhibition today. Um, over here, um, the, um, the deconstructed Christ um, is um, challenged uh, in, in an even more graphic and head-on way. This is um, deliberately, this is the floating head of Christ. This is the stigmata of the Christ. And this floating and the separation has been um, pushed, the Christ has been pushed out by the attack from modernity or postmodernism. In my conception, remember that uh, when we talked about the first Christ, I said that the king's blue deep was a color that found me. I didn't find it. Um, but the king's blue deep, as it turns out, is very typical of the way that the Christ is represented in different cultures uh, and, in, and in various forms of art. So the blue here is again the Christ. The Christ is not defeated, but it is challenged and threatened. This was inspired by Haiti. Um, and what, it, what it's representing is the question, how could an all-loving um, God um, perpetrate or allow the destruction, like Haiti, on the poorest people on the face of the earth? Why would God do that? Why would God allow that? 
How could it be? And it's not, it's a much bigger threat to faith than 9-11. It is, uh, this is not man-made. This is a natural disaster. So to, as I said, I have no answer to it. It doesn't shake my faith, but I have no answer. So what I wanted to do here was to pose the question. And the question is, uh, the way I've done it is that the King's Blue Deep is deliberately very powerful and strong, and because it didn't shake my faith at all. In the same way, when my father died, it didn't shake my faith. It shook my mother's faith to the foundation. She was a devout Catholic. She couldn't understand. She couldn't believe. She couldn't forgive God for allowing my father to die. I did not have that experience. I didn't shake my faith. But... Nonetheless, I have no answer to Haiti. And so what I've done here is I have put the deconstructed Christ as I did on this painting here. Um, but this time, what I've done is the blocks of the Christ are full, thick, blood red. Um, and I wanted to um, suggest that there is, um, um, there will be enlightenment. There is a way of through. So I've used metal paint to give some depth and let some of the blue come through, which is to give a sign of hope, a hope that we will understand one day um, and that um, there will be greater enlightenment and acceptance.